Hey YouTubers, Shell Sullivan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try an experiment I've seen done on the internet a few times. Um, it's called the carbon tower. Basically it requires two ingredients. The first ingredient is table sugar, sucrose. This is not brown sugar. This is table sugar. It's just raw table sugar. It's less processed than your average white table sugar. This is just the kind of sugar that our family uses and I thought it would work fine for this experiment. Sucrose is made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Remember that. Our second ingredient is my trusty um, sulfuric acid based drain cleaner. This is what I've been using to make my gun cotton. I had it around, so I thought I'd give this experiment a try. We're going to need some safety gear. Of course, anytime we, we are dealing with acid, you want to get some, uh, some baking soda um, and make a nice saturated bath of baking soda. I have my little bucket down here full of uh, baking soda dissolved in water. This will neutralize any acid spills, uh, so this is kind of an um, important safety gear when you're dealing with acids. I'll be using these leather gloves. I'm all out of my rubber gloves. Eh, this will be fine. If I spill any acid on them, I'll wash it off in my um, baking soda bath. I'm going to be wearing a face shield because you don't want to get any sulfuric acid in your eyes. That would be very, very bad. Okay, let's get on with the experiment. Okay, we're going to add our half a cup of sugar to this vessel. And what we're going to do is we're going to pour just enough acid to saturate that sugar. Not much more. If you add much more, you'll get a very liquidy end result. We don't want that. We want it just enough to saturate. So let me reiterate, don't try this at home unless you've got some experience, some adult supervision, and proper safety gear. Just slowly. I don't want to overdo it. I just want just to saturate the sugar. It's bubbling a little bit, but that's just air escaping. Let's give it a nice stir to make sure all the Acid, all the sugar is saturated. And now we wait. This is an exothermic reaction, so yeah, I can definitely feel, feel it starting to heat up in there. With white sugar and pure sulfuric acid, the reaction took, took place a lot sooner than this. It's definitely heating up. So sugar is, as I said before, sugar is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And what's happening is the acid is going to dehydrate the sugar. It's going to pull all the hydrogen and oxygen away from the carbon and produce water uh, and liquid water and steam. So your, your end result, you're going to have some dilute acid um, and a lot of steam coming off, hopefully. It's definitely warmer. All right, I see some action now. I'm starting to, it's starting to grow. Oh 
Oh wow, look at it. It's growing now. Now we're getting some action. It's just about doubled in volume now and it's accelerating. I can feel the heat and steam coming off of it. Oh, disgusting. Wow. You can hear it sizzling. This is mostly the steam coming off. And what you see now is the carbon that's left behind from the sugar. Carbon's an element and pure carbon is black. Oh, don't trip over. Still growing. Woo! A lot of heat and steam coming off. That is awesome. Oh, it's, it's, it's quite firm. What a mess. <laughs> Yeah, the reaction's definitely slowed down now. Woo! That glass is hot to the touch. A lot of heat. It smells like burned sugar. Well, I think that was that experiment was a rounding success. Pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. If you did, then please click like on my YouTube channel. If you think a friend might like to check this out, then you can share it. And if you have comments, suggestions, or questions, and they go below. And give my channel a subscribe. But only if you think I earned it.